Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I got a really cute bunch of fun projects for you. I can't resist the stamp set, the little dog in the cone, the banana with all of its funny, punny greetings like thanks a bunch and the older you get, the better you get unless you're a banana. And um, wishing you bunches of fun on your birthday. I can't resist, I just can't. So I was at the Dollar Tree and I found these little one ounce banana boat sunscreens. And I knew that it was a perfect thank you gift that wasn't candy. Useful, fits the theme, really fun, right? So this is the box we're gonna make. And this is uh, featuring our free hand penned designer series paper. If you haven't seen this paper, this hand penned designer series paper from Stampin' Up, it's a free paper pack. You can get this free during celebration. It's a 12 by 12 inch fun black and white pattern paper. You can't go wrong. We're going to use that one today with our bunches of fun bananas. Speaking of, let's stamp them. Got some Daffodil Delight cardstock and Memento Tuxedo Black ink. We're going to stamp a couple of bunches of bananas. Well, three to be exact. And then we're going to cut them out and feel free to send Stampin' Up! a strongly worded email. Um, requesting a banana punch because I think it's been missing from my whole life. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut these guys out and then we'll get on. When I fussy cut, I leave just a little border. So in this case, we're going to have a little tiny yellow border past the black that keeps the integrity of the line. I support my scissor. You see where my thumb is through one loop? and my middle finger is through the bottom loop. My index finger supports the scissor. And then I steer the paper into the bite of the scissor. I don't try to hack the scissor around the item. Hopefully those tips will help you to be a better uh, fussy cutter and you get some enjoyment out of it. I love to fussy cut. All right, next up, I'm going to stamp my greeting. I've got a basic white circle here. I did 3 eighths of an inch, so you can do that with your 3 eighths of an inch circle punch if you've still got that retired one, or it's the second largest from layering circles. We're going to stamp the thanks a bunch greeting using Memento Tuxedo Black. <laughs> I love all things punny. That just thrills me. Thanks a bunch. Now let's go ahead and layer that. And I did my layers ahead of time. Let me show you what I've got. I've got from the Tasteful Labels dies, got this larger pinking circle. And I cut that from Daffodil Delight. And then I punched a stripe designer series paper piece using the label Me Lovely Punch. And lastly, from basic black cardstock. Cut this um, mid size, like the medium, the middle, swoopy square. That's using the Hippo and Friends dies. All right, so we're gonna glue the stripes to the black swoopy square using multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we'll adhere thanks a bunch to our Daffodil Delight pinking circle and I'm going to use black Stampin' Dimensionals. I love these black Stampin' Dimensionals from Stampin' Up. It's Halloween coming up and with this awesome hand penned black and white designer series paper these come in really handy. I'm going to adhere the circle centered on the pinking circle. And then we need a little multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere the Daffodil Delight to the swoopy squares. When you put this one down, you want to be careful that your greeting reads level, especially since it's on a stripe background. It's really going to be obvious if it's not. All right, got our little bananas done and our thanks a bunch label. Let's slide everybody aside and get our stamp, our Simply Score tool. All right, time for the base of our banana box. And the banana box is five and a half by seven. 
I cut it from Daffodil Delight cardstock. We're gonna pop the five and a half inch side into the Simply Score tool. And we'll score at one half, one and a half, three, and four inches. Then rotate once to the right and score on the seven inch side at one inch. It's a super simple little squeeze top box. I'm gonna tie it closed with a gorgeous black and white gingham ribbon. I love this stuff. And let's get a bone folder, work these score lines. This is a nice easy squeeze top box, which means all we have to do is trim the glue tab and cut the bottom tabs. So we'll go ahead and start with the glue tab toward you. Little bevel cut, cut out that small rectangle. And then you can just bevel from the score to the edge, and there's your glue tab. And then liberate the bottom tabs. You can get two of these boxes from one sheet of cardstock. So it's an affordable treat a little sunscreen from the Dollar Tree. And you've got a really cute little gift here for the end of summertime. Or bananas and thanks a bunch. Almost any time. If you find something else that fits in this box just perfect, I want to know about it. Especially if it's banana. But if it's anything. Alright, so we're going to put some Tarrant Tape adhesive on this long glue tab. And then we can, oh, I almost forgot my designer series paper. I didn't want to score it all the way around. So we're going to have to play with this. Hold on. My designer series paper first. I'm going to lift this. Don't worry. I'll show you what I'm going to do. We want to glue our designer series paper to the box with multi-purpose liquid glue. All right. And this is two and three quarters by five and a half. And we'll do maybe an inch from the score line that indicates the bottom of the box. All right. Now, we're going to, for just a minute, close that back up because we want to burnish these score lines so that the two papers, the Daffodil Delight cardstock and your designer series paper, kind of become one. It's easier than trying to score the paper at the right size to make it around the box. If you've got any excess um, designer series paper, you're going to take that off. All right, then you can add your tear and tape adhesive. So we're going to have to put some here. All right, can't believe I almost forgot my designer series paper. Now we're back to where we should be. Tear and tape adhesive on the long line and we're going to flip fold on the second score fold on the first score from the opposite side and you're going to bring these up to make a really nice clean corner right here and once you've got a really nice clean corner then you can flatten it out to burnish it and then pop up your box this is the seam so that's the back of the box i'm going to tuck the side tabs in Back to the front, front to the back. So now our seam goes across the back of the bottom. Also, add some tear and tape for the bottom of our box. Peel that release paper, square everything up, and burnish. Now you can also burnish from the inside with the bottom of your bone folder just to make sure that that tear and tape grabs. Now it's a little pinch closed box. So you're gonna tuck in from the sides and pinch making kind of a gusseted side. Isn't that cute? Oh, now we need a hole for our ribbon. Got a quarter inch hole punch here. I'm gonna go in about three eighths of an inch maybe and punch through the whole box. Now we can pop our treat, our little banana boat sunscreen in our banana box. And let's tie it closed with that black and white gingham. Got 
got ourselves a big loopy gingham bow. I love it. Trim and then trim away from the spool. Let's get all those fun little layers in here now. I've got a couple of pieces of black dimensional there that I want to use up first. Let me put that on the box. And see, when you buy the black ones, you get both sizes in the pack. You get the regular size and the mini dimensionals. I'm just going to keep using up the bits here. Let's go ahead and adhere the label. We want it a little high of center, but centered right to left. So cute. Now our bananas. going to do a couple of falling bunches here. I know, I love it, it's too cute. Got some half minis already ready already. So I'm gonna put them on the side. Bananas here, I'm staying out of the center because that's gonna overlap bunches, or thinks a bunch, which is already on dimensionals. Cutie. Some more half a dimensionals here. I'm gonna put some for this one on the bottom and the far right banana. I love how this little one kind of underscores the word bunch. And then this guy goes up at the top and we're gonna put a couple of mini dimensionals on that guy too. All right, super cute, peel and stick. There it is. Thanks a bunch. Our little sunscreen, banana boat sunscreen box. <laughs> if you got any questions about the project or about the hand pen designer series paper and getting yours for free while well, you can, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.